guys and welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Today we're making strawberry fluff, so stay tuned. today we're going to make a strawberry fluff. Now I found myself in need of a low sugar, I'm not going to say a sugar free, but a low sugar dessert. And I'll explain all that after we make the dessert. But I wasn't really sure what to do because y'all know me, there is nothing sugar free or low sugar or low fat or any of that healthy stuff about me. So I don't have recipes like that on hand. Well, y'all have heard me talk about um, Tammy on Collar Valley Cooks. Did y'all watch her on uh, Family Food Fight? I was rooting for her. She made us all proud. Um, anyway, I was watching her the other day and she did a Watergate salad. And I got to thinking, you can buy sugar-free Jellos everywhere and you can buy them in any flavor and you can get light whipped cream, I know, and I've looked up, and they have sugar-free whipped cream. I just have never found it. Well, I hadn't really looked for it. But um, the light whipped cream is not only light as far as fat, but it's also less sugar, too. So, um, the... The regular has two grams of sugar. This has one gram of sugar. Um, so we're going to make strawberry fluff. Today is my son-in-law's birthday, Jamie. He is turning 29. We went out to eat. We usually go out to eat for their birthdays on the weekend. And then on their birthday, we let them... <laughs> we let them pick their favorite meal. Well, this is what Jamie picked for his meal sauerkraut and weenies, and macaroni and cheese. So that's what we're having tonight. Um, Caroline's gonna be picking up a cake for him, and so, and then I'll explain the sugar-free stuff afterwards, because I'm gonna tell you about the week we had last week. Um, but first, let's get started on this salad. Well, dessert, I'm gonna call it, maybe we should call it a salad. Maybe we'll think we're eating healthier if we call it a salad. Hmm. Now you can make, if you don't want sugar free or you don't want, this is something you can just totally make regular. So um, keep that in mind. Um, but we're going low sugar today with this one. I'm going to turn you down here. Um, we're going to use, now this is where my brain is coming in. Um, or not coming in. <laughs> uh, this is where I can't think because this requires math skills. But, um, this is a box of regular strawberry jello. It weighs three ounces. Okay? This is a box of the sugar free jello and it weighs 0.3. So I thought, I'm going to have to buy a bunch of these to equal this. Well, then I turned it over on the back and it says there's four servings in a box. Four servings in a box. A serving size is a fourth of, a fourth of the package. Serving size over here is a fourth of a package. So I'm thinking these two are going to be equal. So we're going to we're going to try it anyway. If not, I don't have to post this video. So we're just going to start by putting this in the bowl. And I didn't open it very good. And I definitely want all that goodness. All right. Now we're going to put in a can of crushed pineapple that I already have drained over here. So we're going to put that in. It calls for like um, 15 ounces of cottage cheese. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball that. This is a 24 ounce. So we're just going to eyeball the cottage cheese. And 
and a whole container of Cool Whip. Y'all, I've got my tea going. I'm making um, pasta for the macaroni and cheese. I've got my water going back here. All right, so I'm going to put this whole container of whipped cream. Jamie loves um, strawberry, anything. I normally make him a strawberry cake on his birthday. But, I didn't do that this year. I normally make it for him twice a year. Make it heat, well, make it for all of us at Easter. And then I make it for him, especially on his birthday. But, but he loves strawberries. Now, y'all could add pecans to this. That would be delicious. Um... When I was young, I did not like desserts like this. You want to be sure that you're getting all this strawberry stuff mixed in. And once this sets up in the refrigerator and gets good and cold, it's going to be delicious. But we're going to try it here in just a minute. But yeah, Tammy making that Watergate salad, I got to thinking about, you can do sugar-free, any kind of jello just about comes sugar-free. And um, um, you, like I said, you can buy the light Cool Whip. And they say they have sugar-free Cool Whip. I just haven't, they didn't have it at the store today. Um, so I'm going to be on the hunt for sugar-free Cool whip. All right, there it is. Isn't that pretty? That's all there is to that. All there is. Let me get a spoon and scrape that spatula off and then we'll taste it. That was a quick and easy video. See, now y'all got time to listen to me tell you about my week. And if you don't want to listen to me tell you about our week, you can quit watching because the cooking part's been done. This is it. Here we go. I have scraped that clean. So let me get a good little taste. And see if I like the sugar free. Y'all forgive my hair. <laughs> Got it all pulled back. That is so good and so refreshing. So good. That cottage cheese does something. That's just really good. That is good. So here's you a quick, if you need a healthy dessert. Right here. I'm going to find the lid for this bowl. Maybe. <laughs> and I'll come back and we'll just do some talking while I'm getting my other stuff going. So guys, let me tell you where I got that recipe. Um, you know, I gave Tammy kudos for making me think of the Jello pudding type, um, Cool Whip type dessert. Um, but when I got to thinking, my mind went back to July 4th where we had a cookout at a friend's house. And another one of our friends who happens to also be our youth pastor's wife, her name is Dana, she brought this strawberry fluff. And we were just like, oh my goodness, that is so good. So good. So my mind, when I saw Tammy's, my mind went back to Dana's and I said, um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a sugar-free and I knew I could do it light. So while I'm getting everything ready for um, tonight, let us let me just tell you a little bit about our week last week. Let's go all the way back to Sunday. I think it was August 18th. We had our big back to school bash. And that is where we give out supplies to all the kids in the, uh, all the community kids. Um, we give them pencils, pens, paper. I mean, any kind of supply they need, we usually have. We gave out book bags. We gave 
free haircuts. We had a, a clothing. Um, they could go in and pick out outfits. Um, they could fill up a couple bags full of um, clothes and have new clothes or new to them clothes to start the school year with. And it, their faces just light up. I mean, it's just a wonderful outreach. We have hot dogs. We have snow cones. We have popcorn. We have cotton candy. We have a water slide. All kinds, all kinds of things. And so at the end of the evening, we were cleaning up and it was, we were just about to kind of wind down for the evening. And my husband, the pastor, decides he's going to be cool. And he goes down the water slide and he goes down without a hitch the first time. Second time down, he goes head first. He is cool. <laughs> he is cool. He wasn't very cool when he went down head first and then he flopped around like a fish out of water. I hurt my ribs. He did hurt his ribs. I landed like this. I went over the end of the he water. He shot slide. out like a cannon. It has a stop, a little pool thing down there at the bottom. He didn't even stop in the pool part. He shot out, <laughs> went over it, and um, landed like, on his. Like, I got some air. What air warm. <laughs> yeah, he got air. It was only about 12 inches, but I got air. <laughs> Anyway, and he got hurt, and um, we thought he broke his ribs because he's he's done that before, and um, not the water slide, but it broke. No, his ribs. he's broke his ribs on a horse, and um, so we went to the doctor the next. Well, let me get back up. So we come home that night. He's resting on the couch, milking it for all it's worth. I was babying him, and um, he was just. Oh, me. Poor me. Because he was in pain, let me tell you. Um, and he, he looks at me and says, Leslie, my heart's out of rhythm. So I go over there. I'm a nurse. So I went over there. I checked his pulse. Sure enough, it was not regular at all. It was bump, 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 bump. It was uh, definitely not in rhythm. So we waited because we've actually gone to the hospital for this before. And by the time we got to the hospital, it had gone back into rhythm and was fine. So he did not want to go to the hospital unless absolutely necessary. So we waited a little while to see if it would go back. Sure enough, it goes back into rhythm within 30 minutes. We're good to go. We're fine. So Monday, we make an appointment about his rib to have it x-rayed. So Monday, he kind of lays around most of the day because he's still in pain. And um, we go to the doctor. It's not broken, but the doctor says he has injured it, you know, good. And it's going to take a while to heal. So we go about our day. He pretty much takes it easy that day. Um, that night, about 8.15, he looks at me. About 8.13, he says, because he, he took notice on his watch. He says, my heart's out of rhythm again. I went over and checked. Sure enough, it's out of rhythm. So he waited and waited and waited and waited. And it never went back in. So he begins to start getting nauseous and sick. And um, if y'all are wondering what I'm doing, I'm slicing up cheese for the macaroni and cheese. Um, so he decides to... Um, we decided to call like the fire departments to see if they had an EKG machine because we didn't want to go to the hospital and it go back in and then not catch it and us have to pay that tremendous fine for nothing. But the longer we, I can't find it. They say you're going to have to call 911 for that. Um, and the longer we wait, he starts to get nauseous, clammy, um, some chest pressure. So we, um, we decide we were going to call the ambulance. So we call the ambulance. The ambulance drivers come out. Sure enough, he's in AFib, atrial fibrillation. And the ambulance guy says, uh, I'm packing you up and you're going to the hospital. And he says, oh no, my wife will take me. And the ambulance guy says, no, I'm taking you. Anyway, we convince him to let me take him to the hospital. Which as I'm a nurse, 
I would never convince anybody to do that. But, um, so we go, and he's still in, and they admit him first thing. So, so we got some heart issues going on. But while we were there, guess whose sugar was elevated? Yes, my sweet husband, sweet being the key word, his sugar was elevated. Hence why we need the sugar-free desserts. Um, they think they get, they wanted to do insulin in the hospital and we're like, no, <laughs> no, not yet. Don't throw the big guns yet. So, um, they did give him metformin and so he's going to try to work on his diet, get it down so he can get off the medicine and be fine. We've got some appointments with the cardiologist coming up and, um, but he is, he's doing great. His ribs are healing good. They're still a little sore, but, um. They're getting, getting much better. I'm going to put the pasta in. I'm going to do this whole box. And we're going to set the timer for nine minutes. But, um, so that was our week. And then, to top it all off, we come home. I go to Walmart because we're sending our son back to college. And I'll show you that at the very end of this video. Um... I, we're looking for pots and pans for him at Walmart and I set my phone down so I could open up a box turn around go look at another box come back to get my phone and guess what it's gone we tracked it somebody carried it to the front door and that's as far as we could track it because they obviously powered it off um, so it's taken me a while to get my phone and that's why you haven't had your videos lately I actually had one on there. <laughs> I had a Hershey bar cake on there. And, um, it, my Hershey bar cake video got stolen with my phone. So, um, anyway, um, that's it. Hang on, let me show you what we did Sunday. And I'll probably come back and tell you bye. And Brian just came in here and tasted that strawberry fill up. And he said it was delicious. He said it was so good. And I said, that's something we can keep. We can keep that in the refrigerator sweet. And when he just needs something a little sweet, he can go in and get a spoonful of that and not feel guilty a bit. So, but anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to show you what we did Sunday. And I'll probably come back and tell you bye. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for watching the farming pastor's wife and the farming pastor. Good morning. Boy, what a week we've had. Bryant here has made a little trip to the hospital. I've had my phone stolen from Walmart. Don't lay your phones down at Walmart. But I thought I'd come on today and just kind of show you or tell you how today's going to go and then show you a little bit of it. We're headed to church right now. And if you want to watch our church service, go and like Browers Westland Church like their Facebook page and you can watch our service online um, but anyway so we're gonna go to church after church I don't know if we're gonna grab something to eat or if we're just gonna go straight home or whatever change clothes straight home <laughs> Mr. Tightwad don't like to eat out we but have sandwich stuff at home no we don't <laughs> yes we do no, we don't. I buy the groceries yes, I know we don't <laughs> anyway so um Sorry for the bouncing, we're in the car. But um, then we are going to pack up our son, which he's pretty much already packed, and we're gonna head back to the Olive. University of Mount Olive, that is. And we are taking him back to school for his second year. And um, I think he's ready to go back, and um, he's excited to see his friends. He's sad to leave his girlfriend. But he comes home every weekend, so he gets to see her. So she's going to ride with us. Well, she'll ride with him down there. And then um, she'll ride back home with us. But So we're taking you to the Olive with us. Mount Olive, where you can get those wonderful, wonderful pickles. So y'all stay tuned. You're going on a road trip with us on this beautiful Sunday. Stop recording. There's the Mount Olive water tank. Look at 
which part of the pickle processing place? Part of the pickle. That's the, the bread, bread and butter, butter warehouse. warehouse. Yeah. <laughs> Good but corn fields and flat land. Look at all that. Down here in the flats of sand, sandy flats of uh, North Carolina. We just came through a little community called what's the county called Sampson County. Came through Carteret County, and now we're here in Mount Olive. Here we are. Pulling in. Isaac's in the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> the, apart the apartment? <laughs> Apartments this year. <laughs> he obviously knows exactly where he's headed. Of course, I guess he should. Can't get it good because my wind is in the way University of Mount Olive this has been a great place for Isaac small campus about 1500 kids on campus about 6,000 kids when you students when you uh, include the online students as well there is um, also a Wesleyan Church nearby um, this school was um, in out, Goldsboro. out of the the, the school came out of the free will Baptist. free will Baptist and um, but there is a Wesleyan church in Goldsboro that he has attended several times it's the called the hydrant church Pastor Tim Fox How's it set up? So yeah, we took Isaac back to college and I showed you a little bit of his room. I was wanting to get his friends on there, but we kept kind of like not passing each other at the same time. So, um, but anyway, I'm just enjoying this sugar-free, well not sugar-free, it's not sugar-free, low sugar strawberry fluff. And my pretty little my sport shirt on and my dainty cup <laughs> don't I go together <laughs> but y'all this is so good and this is coming from a food snob I don't think anything should be sugar free I don't think anything should be fat free <laughs> but when something happens to those you love you make sacrifices and this does not taste like a sacrifice at all. Mm. It is so good. And it's kind of congealed. I mean, like, gotten. It's not loose like it was when I first mixed it up. Mmm. Yeah. And that cottage cheese just adds enough savoriness. I'm not sure what word I'm trying to. It just adds something to it. I don't think it would be the same without the cottage cheese. Y'all, this is so good. If you want to make it full sugar, you can. Use a regular Jello. Use a regular Cool Whip. But if you want to cut back a little bit and try something sugar-free, then try this. It is really... It's not sugar-free. I keep saying sugar-free. Low sugar. It's really good, and you don't miss it. I don't miss it. I would tell you. I promise you, I would tell you if I miss the sugar because I can taste things like that. There's only one diet drink I will drink, and that's the Diet Dr. Pepper. I cannot handle the taste of any other diet drink. Um, so I would tell you if I could taste it. Now, I did just make a diet lemonade for Bryant that is delicious. I do like Chick-fil-A's diet lemonade, and this tastes just like it. So, um, but anyway, y'all, this strawberry fluff, mmm, it's good. 
You got to make it. So good. Thank you all for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Please subscribe if you've not done so. Have your friends and your family subscribe. Share my videos. If you watch one you haven't watched before, share it. And um, since we get to 500 subscribers, we'll do another giveaway. We're not far from it. So y'all keep going for me. Y'all have a great day. Thank you for visiting with me on the farm. I love it when you come visit with me in the kitchen. And we can just share about each other's day. I wish I could hear y'all. So send, leave me comments and share with me about your day or your week. And um, I, just, I just like to talk to you guys. So y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Love you guys.